Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Just here, and back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, we got a twofer, as we're going to pit Walmart versus Target in the gold label wars for these new exclusives. <laughs> we're going to paint the town red, essentially, over on the Target exclusive gold label avenue, because... That's what you have to say in order to differentiate between all these figures these days. We have the new The Flash, Barry Allen. And I gotta say, I'm very stoked on what I'm seeing here. Hopefully it's a trend going forward. The third figure in the year-long collect-to-build wave for Cyborg. On the back side, it tells you how to put together the figure if you've waited all this time to get those pieces. Who's gonna be the fourth figure to be revealed? Drum roll. It's probably gonna be... Wonder Woman. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Anyways, here's the barcode. Mine shipped in from the Target app. And then we have the new Vampire Superman, because I know everyone was chomping at the bit for that one. A huh? little vampire joke for you. This one, very interesting. I'm actually kind of stoked on this. I like this goofy stuff. It's DC versus Vampire's Vampire Superman. And like I said, Walmart exclusive, gold label. I don't know how I feel about this Superman 85th anniversary logo. I kind of like it, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. On these sides of the box, Superman, DC vs. Vampires, and on the back, hey, you got some really cool looking artwork, that's for sure. It doesn't match the figure. Here's the barcode as well. This one actually came in from McFarlane Toys themselves, so thank you very much for sending that out. But oddly enough, they started hitting Walmart stores in California yesterday. You can check my Instagram, yada yada. So keep a sharp eye out. But in the meantime... This is going to be a lot of fun, hopefully. Hopefully it's a lot more positive than the last DC Multiverse video that I did. I was, yeah, it's all over the place with that whole collector line. But this is more what I want to see. So, fingers crossed, right? So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target Store Gold Label exclusive, The Flash, from the year-long Cyborg collect build figure wave, as well as the Walmart exclusive Gold Label Vampire Superman from McFarlane Toys. So once you cut through all those little plastic twisty tie things, hold the figures in the box, you got two new figures and a couple accessories. So we'll kick it off with Vampire Superman. Vampire Superman comes with two really cool new hands. I'm really impressed by this. This is actually exactly what I want to see. You can see all the bones and the veins and sharp claws. Some paint on the fingernails would have been ideal, but at least there's a wash, and it really brings these hands, these very expressive hands, to life. Vampire Superman. I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea, or I should say a cup of coffee, and it's really awesome. I really love what they did here. It's a reuse of the Page Puncher Superman, but the new head portrait, the hands, just the overall look of this character brings it to life in a whole new way. If you look at the neck, he's got two puncture wounds and there's blood coming out of it. That's what I want to see, especially in a store exclusive. This is not going to be detrimental to your collection if you're not a fan, if you just don't care for vampires versus supermans and all that kind of stuff. It totally works. The dark costume is really cool. It's a nice contrast to the red cape, right? It's got the whole vampire enchilada going on so I totally dig it the cape has a nice wash to it really brings everything to life within that sculpt again the costume itself he's got lots of paint on him I like the red in the Superman symbol that's a really nice spooky red you got plenty of head articulation you can go all the way up like he's screaming yelling roaring into the night it's awesome I really love what they did here this is a really nice figure this is what i want to see in juxtaposition to the video i did yesterday with the whole collector edition this would feel more like a collector edition figure being that it's painted to the nines and they've taken an existing figure and you really can't tell even in the ab crunch everything you want to do to move him around with the waist the legs you can definitely get him in all the crazy vampire flight poses that you want and it looks good doing it I think the only thing, once again, if you're going to have a flying character, because they have flying stands, right? Put a flying stand into the box and get him posing proper. When you want to swap out the hands to get the more expressive fingers out sort of deal going, he looks like a terrifying, spooky vampire Superman. This is one Nosferatu. 
you would not want to meet in a dark alleyway. You probably want to meet any in a dark alleyway, but you get what I'm saying. It's creepy. The red around the eyes, the blood, everything really makes this character pop. But you see what a flight stand really adds to this figure. It really brings this thing to life, and that's how he's going to be displayed from now on. Now, over on the, the superhero aspect, I guess you should say, of this video, the Flash is killer. I really love this figure. He comes with the drape back mask. That's really cool. Usually we see that with Marvel Legends with Wolverine figures, right, all the time. It's nice to see a different character being utilized for it. And you get an unmasked Barry Allen head. So he's got the blonde locks. He has a really nicely painted head portrait. Overall, this is pretty solid. This is what a 2023 retail, keep around the 2025 dollar mark, which is what this falls under. This is what figures should be looking like. And then the head portraits should be matching the bodies as well. And if you're wondering, yes, Flash does come with the legs for the collect-to-build cyborg figure. It's a pretty big figure thus far. So we'll wait and see how the head portrait looks. But just to kind of give you an idea of the scale so far. Now, with Flash, I love this figure. I really do. I love the way this came out. I love that they gave him extra head portraits. Some extra hands would have been nice. But just the overall... What I'm looking for, Flash, you could do the Unmasked if you want, but it's a classic looking, we'll say Flashpoint Flash, but it's just really a great figure through and through from the articulation to the paint to just being what I think about with the Flash. So you get a lot of head articulation. To show you the difference between the two head portraits, they really did nail it to the extent of it looks like Flash pulls his mask off and you are now unmasked. There's really no difference between the two heads, and that's important, right? It's supposed to be the same guy under the mask. You got plenty of articulation. There's really nothing crazy for a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. You get a little bit better range of motion movement out of the upper diaphragm, ab crunch, waist, and whatnot, so you can get him kind of hunched over a little bit. Still gotta work on the ab crunch to kind of get him keeled over. But it's fine. I like the yellows. Everything's painted nicely. Everything's bright and it pops and he's got the little wings on the boots. There's nothing at the boot that spins. It looks kind of like it would, but I'm glad they sculpted those in. They're not painted. The misaligned pin, I guess, would be a nitpick along with the hands, right? Some extra hands would have been lovely instead of a trigger finger hand again. We got to get rid of those for types of care. When do you see the Flash holding any type of weapon like that? He just runs. He's the running guy. You want to swap out the heads? It's easy peasy, just like a Marvel Legends, get the draped back mask, put the unmasked head on, and you got yourself a pretty cool looking unmasked Barry Allen. The one nitpick I will say is that you kind of expect the neck part to be flesh colored, right? Because he draped the mask back. I'm not going to overly nitpick it. I'm just saying that's a little added attention to detail. I wish McFarlane Toys would just kind of pay attention to, but you could just leave the draped part of the mask off and put this on, and I think that actually kind of looks better. An extra mask in his hand would have been kind of cool, right? Just to kind of have that option. But, again, uh, I'm happy with what I'm seeing here. This is a step in the right direction and something that I want to see them continue forward with. Now, this again, much like Vampire Superman, would have been an excellent choice to then put a flight stand in with to get him in all those running positions. You don't get any powers, you don't get any effects, you don't get anything with this figure, which I feel like I have plenty of if you've been collecting the Flash figures like I have, but this is just a solid classic looking Flash. The hands aside, right? But I like that you can pose him like he's draping the mask back. It's definitely a win-win in my book. Couple hiccups here and there. I'd like to see just a little bit more oomph to it next time, but alternate head portraits is definitely the way to go. Now, in terms of the whole vampire universe, of course, have Vampire Joker, right? Which mine didn't really have fangs sculpted in. I've seen everyone else's videos. They got fangs. You have Vampire Batman, which is the tallest one out of the three, with Superman being the smallest out of the three. Again, they're reusing figures, cobbling together vampirism. They're putting new heads and parts on them, which is awesome. But yeah, the scale goes out the window, right? Uh, they're just a fun, goofy line. I, I like them, and I make no excuses for it. 
In terms of the Flash, well, this is what we got before, and I never liked this figure. I don't get that head portrait. Why is he all mad, right? But this new Flash does look good next to Professor Zoom, Reverse Flash, Reds and Yellows. I really like the body on the new Flash. I really wish they would just keep that. Keep all the texturing to a minimum in some cases. Use it for the characters that need it. But simplicity is key with the old superheroes. And with the whole Flash family, well, here's one of them at least with the Jay Garrick figure. Jay Garrick is ripped next to old Barry Allen here. And he's taller. <laughs> Scaling is an issue. We all know about this with McFarlane toys at this point. But they do look good together. But I gotta say, with this new Flash, with this Batman, with this Superman... That looks pretty cool. That takes me back. That makes me go, yeah, this is looking pretty awesome. This is what I want to see with McFarlane Toys and how they tackle the DC Multiverse. They're going way out of whack. Too many repaints and whatnot. But like I said, simplicity is the key. Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Dead Man. With how the costumes look, the simplicity, it's not over exuding all this detail all this extra sculpture which is nice for some characters don't get me wrong but when it comes to superheroes wearing spandex this is what i want to see so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new gold label figures the target store exclusive the flash from the flashpoint year-long cyborg collect a build figure wave say that all in one go and then walmart's vampire superman Thanks for keeping it easy on that one, Walmart. It's a toss-up, right? I like what they're doing with both. It meets two of my needs. They really paid attention to the Flash. A couple nitpicks here and there. But Vampire Superman is just goofy, repainted fun, but done in a very good way. And I would like to see more vampires eventually. <laughs> Give or take, right? I'm not chomping at the bit for him. Enough with the vampire jokes. Anyways, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned for Blue Beetle and all of San Diego Comic-Con next week. Wink, wink. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.